Light gun games were a strange breed in the 8-bit days, especially on the NES. Whilst the Zapper was an iconic piece of hardware, there weren't too many games that could take full advantage of the technology. Even the ones that were fun at the time haven't exactly held up well. One of these games was To The Earth. It's a pretty nondescript game, playing like a slower, less dynamic version of Space Harrier or Afterburner, except with a light gun. You can't look at these games in a vacuum though. It's all about context. Put yourself back in 1989. You like movies like The Last Starfighter and Star Trek. All communication radar systems are out, Wing Commander. You have a NES at home with a zapper and a packed in version of Duck Hunt. You plug into the Earth for the first time and see this. It's 2050. The Ragossians have invaded the Earth with a dastardly bacteriological weapon. The human race is facing the danger of extinction. You are on a special mission to bring the antibacterial agent from the Neptune Terrestrial Allied Force Base, Triton, to the Earth. You must break through the invaders' corner. Time is limited. The fate of the Earth is in your hands. Save it. At the time, this game would have been much more than the sum of its parts. Sure, it's a bit dated now, like most of the light gun games from this era, but keep an open mind, and you may just find yourself enjoying it a bit more than you may expect. <laughs> 